morning everyone welcome back to the channel so without further ado <laughs> today's the day i revealed the tracker and you already know by the title of this video and maybe a couple shots around the yard here but uh i bought an rk tractor um rk tractors are are made for rural king um rural king is a farm store um i used to think it was just an ohio thing but apparently they're they're uh all over the place um i've shopped at rural king for years ever since the place is open it's it's a great place for a lot of things they don't just carry farm stuff they carry clothing and camping stuff and food processing i mean it's endless cleaning supplies it's endless what they carry so uh, we have shopped there for years um i knew about rk tractors I've, I've seen them there obviously but they weren't on my radar until i started watching outdoors with the morgans a lot of you guys <coughs> watch my channel watch that channel as well uh, mike morgan uh, as a lot of you know had to deal with rk tractors for a couple years where he was using the equipment in exchange for videos and uh, he did a good job he, he really showed the capabilities of these machines um, as well as the reliability so that that really sparked my interest with rk tractors um, rk tractors are made by tym i believe um, it's the same company that makes mahindra they've been around for a very long time um, so when it was time to buy a tractor, I obviously I've looked at, uh, at many other ones, John Deere, Kubota, uh, Massey Ferguson. Um, those are the main ones I was interested in because there's dealers around me. And then uh, I started looking at the RK tractors and it was hard to ignore the price of an RK tractor compared to all the others. Uh, oh, I, was, I looked at Mahindra's too. Um, because we have a Mahindra dealer near us. But, you know, our RK tractors are even cheaper or less expensive. I don't want to say cheap because there's nothing cheap about this machine, but they're less expensive than the Mahindras. Um, so when it came time to buy a tractor, I knew I needed just more than just a tractor. Um, I, I was going to need a bunch of implements. So that, um, that quickly adds up and you know there's only so much you can spend on something like this it's not yeah it's a tool and i'm going to use it a lot i'm going to get a lot of use a lot of years of use out of it but at the end of the day you know it's not going to drive you back and forth to work so uh you want to get the most for your money and i feel like with rk tractors you do you really do you get a lot of tractor for the money um that's pretty amazing We'll do a walk around and I'll talk about a couple things. Um, of course, the sun's right, right in the way. Let's go around this way. So this is the RK37 with a cab. And I went with the shuttle shift versus the um, hydro. Um, I drove both the hydro and the shuttle shift. And I felt like the shuttle shift was... Uh, the, the right fit for my application. Sorry about that. The princess interrupted me. So anyways, I decided to go with the shuttle shift. Um, I, I like the way the shuttle shift works, and I think it'll work out good for my application here. I did end up going with a cab. I went back and forth on this whole cab thing versus open station. And uh, ultimately, I went with the cab, and I'm glad I did. It's a nice warm day today and I did a little bit of brush hogging this morning not much just to just to test it out and uh, I had that AC blowing keeping me nice and cool I just want to say the folks at RK were absolutely phenomenal to work with uh, shout out to Suzanne and Mike if you guys are watching thank you again I can't thank you enough you guys were very knowledgeable and patient um, and that was huge because uh, I'm, I'm somewhat, I was somewhat un, indecisive, but uh, ultimately I made the right decision, I feel. So, uh, RK37, so it's 37 horsepower diesel engine. It's got a Yamar diesel engine in it. Um, four wheel drive. I got it with the, with a loader and I added a grapple. Um, I just felt like 
watching Mike Morgan with a grapple and doing similar stuff to what I'll be doing, you know, processing wood and firewood and stuff, I just felt like that that grapple was just a must have. So I went with a grapple. Um, it's a pretty cool attachment, that's for sure. Most expensive ta attachment, but uh, well worth the money. Um, RK tractors are get, are loaded with a ton of features that other tractors don't have. Like the tires are loaded with ballast. Uh, it's not corrosive. I think it's beet juice. Um, rear remotes. Oh, I don't know what else is going on in there <laughs> that's not standard. Um, the cab's pretty neat. It's It's got... Heating and air, obviously. Front and rear wipers. It's got a bunch of extra lights on it, work lights. Um, but you don't see a lot of videos of the RK37 with cab. So I'm going to try and document this as much as possible. So if somebody else is on the fence, they can... Um, it'll help them make a decision. But there's, you know, there's a ton of room in here. You hop in this, the, uh, the seat. You're very comfortable. You can see everything around you. There's really... There's no blind spots. It's all glass. Your uh, heater and air conditioning controls are up here in the roof. It does have a radio and it is Bluetooth. It, um, I have it connected to my phone so I can listen to my favorite podcast or uh, YouTube videos while I'm operating. <laughs> but uh, it's pretty simple to control. Um, I, I've, I've been able to pick up everything uh, pretty quickly. So can't be happy can't say eh. can't say anything bad about any of that okay so obviously you can see i picked up a five foot brush hog um, i'm going to use this to help me maintain some trails here it's not going to get a ton of use it will at first but once i get the trails maintained or established I'm, i don't think you know it's going to be on there every day um well, I talked about the grapple. Uh, this is the bucket. I'm getting ready to take the, the grapple off. And I'm going to put these forks on. I got pallet forks. I'm going to put the pallet forks on. And then I'm going to unload the box blade. So those are the those are the attachments I bought with the tractor. And then I picked up one of these trailer movers um, as well to help me move trailers around. So... I just thought that was a nice accessory for the tractor. But that's it. I mean, that's the tractor. Um, a lot of you folks guessed uh, Yanmar, so I guess you would be correct. I saw one or two guess RK. Not a lot. Um, most most of the other stuff was John Deere, Kubota, and Massey Ferguson. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm happy. I I can't wait to operate this thing more. It's it's killing me that I only get a few hours here a day. Uh, the weekend's coming up, but I do have some whole leather work to do. <laughs> so I don't know how much time I'm gonna get to spend on this uh, this weekend. But maybe I'll shoot a little bit of video of me moving around the um, implements here. I'm gonna leave that. Uh, brush blade hooked up just for now just to get this uh, box blade off It'll give me a little ballast in the rear i don't think I, I really need it but i'll just leave it on just in case but so let's go ahead and uh unload the rest of my trailer get this stuff set aside
Whew, all right, I got quite the workout. <laughs> Just moving this stuff around the yard. All right, that's gonna be all I'm gonna do for today. I just wanted to get this stuff off the trailer and get somewhat organized. I gotta work on organizing all this. Um, I'm not real sure. Uh, I'm not real sure where I'm gonna put this stuff yet. I got I got a couple ideas. Here in the future, we're gonna rip this out and make this all parking. So I might line the back of it with the implements, but then you know, it's right in front of my house. I don't know if I like that. Um, I'm not going to have enough room in the landing pad to put all the implements. I could level all this out, get some more of that 304, and uh, make a nice pad here, which I might do temporarily or, uh, you know, for a while. But I'm thinking up in the front field there, um, I want to build a barn for the animals. Um, I might put a, a pad in um, up there, just like a lot, a work area, a place to, to store all this stuff. Um, if I could get it under cover, that'd be ideal, but uh, it's going to be a while. going to be a while. So I got the, I got this set up now. I got the bucket on, um, and I got the rear box blade on. Um, I probably could have left the box blade off, but I just put it on. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get the 8N over there. I'm um, gonna get the blade off of it and put the blade over here somewhere. And then I, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna post it for sale and see what, see what happens. Um, I'm not gonna give it away. If I can make, if I can make my money back or close to it, then I'll sell it. If not, I'll just keep it around here on the farm and or the homestead and use it. I don't know, maybe I'll just hook it up to the brush hog and it'll just be the brush hog machine. Who knows? But then it'd be a lot nicer being a cab brush hogging because of all the dust. <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap this video up for today because uh, I'm gonna finish moving a couple things around and then I've got to um, feed the animals and uh, get ready for work. So. That about, that about finish me off for today. So I appreciate everybody watching the videos and clicking the thumbs up. And thanks for playing along with all the, the guessing on the tractor. I was having a little bit of fun with it. Um, I don't know when the next video will be. Hopefully soon. I don't know what I'm getting into just yet in the next few days. Uh, I got a lot I want to do, but I got to, like I said earlier, I got a leather order I got to work on. So. Um, might shoot some video on the leather order. I am making axe leather, so that's kind of different than my normal routine. So maybe I'll shoot some video on that. We'll, we'll see. But for now, I'm gonna go uh, get in this air conditioning <laughs> and uh, ponder my thoughts. So, the next video, guys. See ya. Thanks.